Hello and welcome to Math 250, Introduction to Linear Algebra, Spring 2022. My name is John Kerrigan. I'm very excited to be your instructor for this course this semester. A little bit about myself. This is my 15th year teaching at Rutgers as a part-time lecturer. I am a three-time graduate of Rutgers University. I completed my degrees in uh, mathematics, mathematics education, and design of learning environments. My uh, dream was to design online classes uh, prior to COVID. So here I am I'm living the dream, so I'm really excited that I was able to, to get to do this. Um, I've taught intro to linear algebra now on and off for seven years. Uh, I took this class at Rutgers and I was able to teach it asynchronously in the fall. And given the feedback I received and how things seem to go, I'm happy to offer it now a second time and improve upon the first iteration of it. And I think you'll really like it. So I want to just walk you through the syllabus really quick and point out a couple things about the Canvas site. And then if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. So this is an asynchronous course. You can email me anytime through the Canvas email tool or through my email address. For um, office hours, I prefer if you contact me directly. I had a standing hour last fall, but very few people came. So I usually just sat by myself. So if you just shoot me a line saying, hey, can we meet to discuss something, you know, and give me some options, I think that's probably the best thing to do is to schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings. So don't hesitate to ever do that. I'm happy to meet with anybody um, to go over things, even if it's just for five minutes or, or 20 minutes or whatever. Um, that's always on the table. So in this class, we talk about systems, matrices, vectors, all those things. Um, I, I like to think of the course starts out a little challenging, and then it, it gets a little simpler, and then it gets challenging again. So as you go through, um, unlike some of the other classes that gradually build up, I think this course kind of um, goes in a, in a cosine formation. It starts a little challenging, then you start to get it, and then it gets a little bit more difficult. Um, what's different from this course compared to um, the calculus sequence is that there's a strong focus on conceptual understanding. We're going to work with a lot of theorems. We're going to learn how to write proofs. We are going to um, connect properties together. So it, it, it won't be all just calculating things. There's a lot of connecting concepts together, determining if statements are true or false, and some other qualitative reasoning that you might not be used to in a math class. For some people, they love it. For some people, it's an adjustment and not a, a cookbook like Calc 2 is. So I just wanted to let you know that up front so that as you go through, you place a good focus on conceptual understanding. The course will be done through MyLab. Hopefully you've used it in calculus. We're going to use it for linear algebra as well with the weekly homeworks, exams, and all that kind of stuff. There is an ebook attached, which is different from the one that the live classes have. Um, I chose to use MyLab because I feel like it's a good asynchronous solution and has a, a bit more scaffolding and support that our, our book does, that, that the live sections use, it doesn't quite have that. Academic integrity, it's important to always be honest, especially when you take exams, submit work, etc. When you type into our exams, we do check to see if your work is authentic and not found on Chegg or, or something like that. Disabilities, if you need extra time on assessments and you have a letter, please feel free to reach out and I'll get that set up for you ASAP. Calculators, you know, it is an online class, so I'm imagining you'll probably use Desmos or, or a calculator of, of your choice but you can also use an 84, you know, you don't have to if you don't want to, but having a calculator is helpful. The grading breakdown for the course, uh, typical Rutgers math breakdown, 20% for each of the two midterms, 40% for the cumulative final. And then the ongoing work that you'll do are um, written problems, which are um, proof submissions, videos with, with quizzes embedded in them, and uh, my lab problems every week. That adds up to another 20%, and I'll explain that all in a little bit. The midterms, they will be done on MyLab with Respondus Lockdown Browser. So again, similar to Calc, you'll be monitored through video and you know you have to get that set up through a, a, a text setup quiz early on in the class so that you're ready to go. And the dates for the exams are picked out on the finals to, to be determined at this time. But for the midterms, I did set aside a date for that. If you need to miss an exam, I just need to know in advance so that we can schedule a makeup version of the exam. In this class, there are instructional videos to watch, and I house them on PlayPosit. So that is a platform that tracks your, your watching and allows you to rewind and you know answer embedded questions, kind of like you're doing now on this quiz. And um, I, I do leave them open for the whole semester. So even though there's due dates, I, I just want you to stay on top of the work. But if you should miss something, you'll have until the end of the semester to do it for credit. So that's always there. And these videos will contain computations, proofs, questions, etc. Written problems each week, in addition to the, the digital stuff on my lab, I will give you five or six proofs or more conceptual questions that you'll have to handwrite your solutions to. 
scan them and upload them just so that you do get the, the flavor of that type of work as well as the in-person sections are getting to. My lab, this is basically online homework, similar to WebAssign or any other online, you know, calc work you might have done. And this, you know, has some supports built in, like, uh, show me an example, like, you know, I think there's a hint button you can use, and you can also email me too, if there's any questions that you have there. Wellness is very important. So if you need any wellness links, these are all here for you. Please take that very seriously. And then on the last page, this just lists out the topics that we we cover. Um, so each week, I would say there's anywhere from two to three topics that, that you'll have to complete. Some weeks are a little heavier than others. I feel like the, the first part of the course, there's usually three per day. And then as we go through, it starts to ease down a little bit. But even though there's fewer of them, they're just a little bit more intense. So don't be you know fooled by the, the few topics. I just tried to space these out so that, um, you know, in terms of heaviness, you know, I, I didn't want to slam you some weeks with stuff that's very uh, computationally heavy or theoretically heavy. The first exam that covered that will be through um, the Valentine's Day work here. I just did determinants. That's an easy lesson. I just did that as an in-between. And then the exam will be during this week. For exam weeks, I usually do a review that you have the whole week to do. And then at the end of the week on Monday, you will um, have the exam. My weeks run from Tuesday to Monday. So that means that everything will be released on Tuesday. You'll have the whole week to do it and it'll be due on Monday. And I choose this so that um, you can take advantage of the weekend. And then if, if you have a busy weekend, you still have Monday to catch up on anything that you need to do. But most people usually hand everything in by Sunday night, just to be sure. So the tentative dates, barring any issues, are February 28th and April 11th for the exams. And then for the final, that is to be determined. Now, I want to briefly show the Canvas site just so that you can get a feel for what there is offered here. So I just access the syllabus under the syllabus menu. Um, to get started on my lab, the first module, you know, under the modules tab is a handout and um, some instructions for getting on. So be sure to, to go on that and, and get set up. You need to take a tech setup quiz so that your face is in uh, my lab so you can take the proctored exams. So be sure to do that. Um, it doesn't count toward your grade, but you do need to do it. Don't wait until the last minute because uh, that doesn't, doesn't usually end well. Each week, I will record a um, video welcome. So you can look forward to that every week. I'll kind of give an outline of the content and just go over what, you know, what the topics are. And um, what I usually do is there's a video here that you'll click on for each topic. And like I said, it'll bring you to a video with questions and you have to watch it. You can't fast forward. You can't click off the screen. Um, it's it's going to stop if you do that. So you have to watch it. And um, there's also some worked out examples on the Jamboard. Jamboard is a virtual whiteboard. So if you're interested in looking at worked examples, those I list here, you don't have to, but that's just a resource in case you would like. And then the My Lab assignment is right under it. So I list those all out. And then also for each week, I give any resources that I feel are timely. So I'll usually post things about like how to write a proof or how to answer a true or false question. Or if I see something good on Instagram or Twitter with linear algebra, I'll post it. Um, also, a really good optional resource is I taught this class last summer in, a, in an online live setting, and I video recorded my start of class uh, lecture. So I, I would usually just go over key ideas from each section before sending students into breakout rooms. So I have those recordings here too, if you like to hear me teach or, or see a couple of, of examples done. And these coincide with the Jamboard examples. So if you prefer to read things, you can just look at the Jamboard. If you prefer a video explanation, and just to get a sense, you know, feeling like you're in an actual class, you can click on the live class worked examples as well. But all that is optional. And it just repeats. Each week, I'll release the work. So again, it's welcome message, mandatory video, optional Jamboard, and then um, this uh, My Lab set that you'll complete on, um, on the topic for the week. And then I'll interject some humor too. So that's all here. And then when there's exams, I'll post some My Lab practice. I'll post additional review problems. You know, there's no shortage of resources available for you to succeed in the class. And then for the written problems, like I said, you will submit proofs each week. Or, or problems that require explanation, you know, something that's better suited for pencil paper than a computer. And those will be under um, assignments as well. So you can feel free to um, check those out and I'll always post the solutions to those after they're all submitted. So that's the course, it runs like a well-oiled machine. I, I expect you won't have any issues finding anything. 
and keeping up. But if you do, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. I, I enjoy helping students and I want to make sure you have the best possible experience in the course. So that's, um, that's all we got. Best of luck. And I look forward to collaborating with you this semester.